and condolences have been pouring in from politicians and local organizations. Tonight, a vigil in Elkhart to remember the late Congresswoman. Fox 55's Drew Fry is live at Jimtown High School now. And Drew, what did people have to say about Walorski's legacy? Yeah, Kelsey, the main thing that I keep hearing about Jackie Walorski was that she was truly personable and loved to go out of her way to make connections with people. So a couple hundred people were here in the Jimtown High School parking lot in Elkhart to celebrate her life through a vigil. They celebrated with uh, music and with prayer as well. The vigil starting around 8 p.m. and lasting a little over an hour through rain as well with most people leaving by 915. If you take a look at some of the video from that vigil, multiple speakers discussed her life and service ranging from a World War II veteran to multiple politicians who spent time in Congress with Walorski. Former Indiana Representative Susan Brooks says that Walorski had already made three different stops yesterday to connect with the people she served. She died doing what she loved. She loved this district. She loved coming home. She loved her home with Dean, her mom, her family, her friends, her staff. And Walorski's death isn't just affecting those in northwest Indiana. The congresswoman represented as far east as Wabash. Wabash County Republican Party Chair Matt Dillon says that Walorski was down to earth and would call to congratulate him on both personable, personal and career milestones. He since learning of her death, he's listened to her voicemails that she has left him in the past. We never felt uh, small or under underappreciated, even though we're like the furthest away from um, Elkhart and St. Joe, where she lived and, and, and did a lot of her business. She was a friend. She, she was very personable. Uh, she cared deeply about the citizens of her district. Uh, no item was too small for you to approach her with. And that was Wabash Mayor Scott Long. He sent us these pictures you see on your screen of him and Walorski. The first image is of their first meeting. The next is them at the Honeywell Center. He says that when he got the text about her crash, the air was just sucked out of the room. The two had planned to get lunch together in Wabash later this month. And speakers emphasized that this vigil isn't only about Walorski. Zach Potts' family was here as well, and multiple people mentioned the importance of recognizing all four victims and their families who were, were a part of this crash. And the vigil also focused heavily on faith, and multiple speakers referenced that with the dark clouds kind of looming overhead and rain coming in throughout the whole ceremony, that it was sort of a representation of the dark times that Walorski's family and everyone's family involved in this crash are going through right now. Reporting live in Elkhart, I'm Drew Fry, Fox 55 News.